Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving our bedroom another farmhouse style DIY makeover. This house is a new home build and I've been working room by room doing DIY makeovers to give our new build home a custom made look. If you haven't seen part one of this DIY bedroom makeover where I added the fireplace area using brick wallpaper, I will leave it linked below and I'll also link the products that I have used in this makeover. There will also be a giveaway with one of the items I'm decorating with that will be announced in the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more DIY farmhouse makeovers as I transform our new build home to look and feel custom made on a budget. We're starting by building a barn door that will go from our bedroom into the master bathroom. My father-in-law is so talented with building almost anything and he helped me design and bring this barn door to life. And the total cost from start to finish was only $150. I will leave the materials and specs for this project down below if you wanna make your own. Home Depot cut the piece of plywood to size for us and then we framed the plywood with the eight 12 boards and use drywall screws to secure them to the plywood. For the middle of the door, I had some scrap shiplap boards in my garage that we decided to use. We measured and cut them to size and then secured them with a wood bonding glue and let it sit overnight. I decided to use the paint color Joshua Tree by Bear for the door. I already had it on hand, which was a plus, and we've used it on a lot of shelves and also our mantle throughout the house, and it really does a good job adding warmth to all of the white that I have going on on the walls. The wood boards were easy to paint and only needed one coat, but the shiplap had some sort of smooth finish on top, so I didn't like all the streaks and brush marks that were left behind. So you'll see that I touch that part up and also paint the sides after the door is hung up. We found a really good barn door hardware kit that I will have linked down below and then we just laid it out and measured three inches on each side to secure it to the door. Thank you. 
We also used a piece of 8x12 board that I painted white that we secured with anchors into the studs of our bedroom wall. That is what is going to hold up the door and make sure that it doesn't fall off. The door is pretty heavy, so this step was definitely necessary. And then we just follow the directions on the hardware kit to hang up the barn door. I decided to order a new bed set. The one I had was starting to get old and I had been eyeing this one for the longest time and my little helper Miles helped me get it out of the package and I washed it on a cold cycle and let it air dry before adding it back to my bed. Now that the door is hung, I could see areas I definitely needed to touch up. So I started by using a thin paintbrush to get into all of the grooves of the shiplap. And then I gave them all a second coat of paint before painting each side of the door. When we first moved into this house, adding a barn door or two was on the top of my DIY to-do list, but it quickly fell farther and farther down when I looked them up and saw how expensive they were. Plus the thought of hanging them seemed really intimidating to me at the time. So I was really excited when my father-in-law helped me make one and I could not believe how cheap it was compared to the $500 plus barn doors I was seeing online. I shared on Instagram that I scored these glass vases at Goodwill for 99 cents a piece and I'm using baking soda and the same brown paint I used on the door to give them a makeover. This method will make these glass vases look like pieces of pottery and I plan to put them on my nightstands. I did this method with some pumpkins earlier this year and love the look so trying it on vases will be a fun and cheap DIY. After the first coat dried, I added on a second to each vase and then they were ready to go. Before the fun part of decorating, I first need to tidy up a bit so we can start on a clean surface. I'm taking all the rest of the baby stuff out of here since my daughter has been sleeping in her nursery full time. It's very bittersweet, but I'm also excited to make this space our own again and add little touches of fall for the season. I'm saving this comforter as a backup, but it always kind of bothered me how it just seemed to be a little bit short on our bed, even though it was king sized. So I went a completely different direction this time and got a comforter that is long and flowy and so soft. Downstairs, the catch-all space is our dining room table, and upstairs, it is definitely this dresser. I'm organizing and finding a new home for this stuff, and I've been on the hunt for the perfect mirror to go here, and I think that I have finally found the perfect piece. Speaking of fall, I have had the hardest time finding my favorite fall Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose cleaner this season. I usually can find it at Target, and I don't know if yours is the same, but the cleaning aisle at my Target has been pretty wiped out ever since the pandemic.
I am so excited to use this new sign made by Toefish Art that's going above our bed. Toefish Art is a small family-run business focused on high quality and all signs are made here in the USA. The owner wanted to give you an opportunity to win one of these signs. All of the entry information will be in the description box down below and she is also offering a 10% discount code using cozy up times 10 on any sign in the shop and that is good for the next 10 days. And this sign definitely fits the farmhouse vibe I have going on here and I plan on dressing it up with florals for each season. I went back to Hobby Lobby and picked up more of these leaf stems. They are the perfect fall floral to frame around pictures and I'm just securing them to the wall with thumbtacks. And I also use thumbtacks to attach the picture to the wall. It's made out of a lightweight canvas material which makes it perfect for hanging with thumbtacks. And thumbtacks are one of my favorite things to hang decor with because they're easy to put in and leaves minimal holes in your wall. So while I was at Hobby Lobby for the florals, trying to keep my blinders on, I couldn't help but notice these chippy arch faux windows. They were also super lightweight, which is perfect for hanging with thumbtacks, and I thought they balanced out my nightstands really well. Here is the mirror I ended up buying. I got it with the intention to put over my dresser, but at the last minute, I wondered if it would look good above the fireplace. Ultimately, I decided to go above my dresser. This area was in desperate need of something, and this was the perfect size. Plus, I love how the frame matched the color of my barn door and kind of tied them together. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. Stay forever when you're lying in my arms. My heart is open, it just took some time. Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a little
I am so excited to get this new bedding on my bed. Like I said, I've had this in my cart for the longest time. It came in multiple color options, but I decided to go with white because personally, I find that white is easy to keep clean with just a little bleach now and then. And I like to switch out seasonal throw pillows and neutral bedding makes that really easy. I was really impressed with how well this washed and how quickly it air dried. Plus, it's so incredibly soft and fluffy. So just stay for a little while. I didn't think that I would find that someone who's as honest as you are. Outside, would you make it all right? I want to know you better. Give me every detail, I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever when I'm lying in. I decided to switch out the sign here just for something neutral. This is also from Hobby Lobby, and I'm noticing now that most items in this makeover seem to be from Hobby Lobby. That was not planned, but I decided to add just some neutral decor here and also some candlesticks, which I think add instant cozy romance to any space. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for. Let me know what you think of the finished DIY vase project. I'm using some extra fall stems to help tie in the fall decor I have going on here, but I think these vases turned out amazing, especially for how cheap and easy it was to do. For the finishing touch on the barn door, I'm using a command hook to hang a magnolia wreath that I purchased a few years ago at Target, but unfortunately it ended up falling down in the middle of the night, almost giving us a heart attack, so I had my husband hang it with a nail instead. We also added a handle to the door that I picked up at my local hardware store. Our room has never felt so cozy. I truly love everything about this space. The barn door gave this plain white wall some much needed visual interest and texture. Plus the big mirror over the dresser did the same thing to that wall. I love how the colors on the wood arches tie into the farmhouse style bed and breakfast sign and also balance each other out. The only thing I may end up doing is adding a long shelf below the sign just so I can add in more seasonal decor to that space. Mm -hmm. 
On the bench, I added a little olive tree and some stacked wood crates filled with felt pumpkins. I think the DIY vases were the perfect touch below the arches and were simple enough so that the space was still functional but also pretty on our nightstands. We can't get enough of this barn door. It turned out so great and I am so thankful that my father-in-law is so talented and could help me build it. If you decide to make your own, make sure to tag me on Instagram so we can see. I know that my father-in-law would love to see all of your pictures as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one on Wednesday. I hope you all have an amazing day.